Well, hello again. First, let me apologize for being gone for so long. I don't think I've made a video since April of 2021, but I've been very busy in that time, and some of that I'll be telling you about because it does have an impetus on the series I've just finished. That series is called Keynotes, hence the musical theme. Subtle, maybe? So Keynotes is a focus which is new for me and the focus is on music. Now you might be able to do a good job on describing art but describing music is really quite difficult and I knew I had got myself into a predicament. But my character Rosalie is a very interesting young woman who has had an interesting childhood with a very musical family but she's gone through a horrendous breakup and she's trying to start her life over again. In the first book called The Piano Discovery, Rosalie discovers more or less a piano. Now, you don't just find a piano anywhere. She's in a very small apartment and she is very lucky because she's gifted a piano. And that piano leads her into her past life when music was an important part of her life and a better, more cheerful part of her life, and she needs that. And she discovers that the piano came with a bench, and inside the bench there's a lot of sheet music. Not modern stuff, but stuff going back into past memories, some of which she remembers her mother playing, other things she's heard at one time or another, and she begins to revitalize her own music ideas and the pleasure of music. Now that gets us into the character, but there's a lot about Rosalie's background we don't really know. However, there are two men in her life and one of them is in the second book. Now I can't show you the cover because I can't get a copy of it right now, but the title is the music connection. And if you saw the cover, you would see a violin lying here. And the violin is a key to the person, Carlos Gonzalez, who's a beautiful violinist. Now in the second book, she meets Carlos and she also meets James, another person who she gets through her work. Now she does work in a data collection center, which must be about the most boring thing you could ever imagine. So her life with music becomes all the more important to her. And these two characters play a part as well. Now, by the third book, we have learned more and more about Rosalie. And we've also learned the horrendous story of her first partner with whom she lived and she, until she discovered that he was a horrible liar and a wicked person who actually tried to kidnap her. Now, I'm not going into that part. You'll have to read it for yourself because it's quite amazing. But this is the third story and it's called The Strings Retied. Now there's the clue, strings retied. There are all kinds of strings, not just musical ones. And Rosalie has now got to the position where she is beginning to suffer mentally from this terrible kidnapping incident which could have led to her death. And she's decided she's going to go back to her family. Now, in the meantime, her family has emigrated to Australia where her father, a very important conductor, has a great position with the famous Sydney Opera House. So in a panic and with several things having happened that she cannot come to grips with, she flees to Australia and her family. Now, from there on, I have to say, there's a much darker story going on here. All starts out with music and happy, but not all stories continue like that. And that part ties in somewhat with my life because unexpectedly, I had a hip replacement in the middle of October. I never had an operation before. I had to travel to Toronto for this, and the whole thing was fraught with a lot of uncertainty. So I think that sort of dark thinking got into this book, perhaps accidentally, perhaps the whole story was heading there anyway. 
So how Rosalie adjusts to this life in Australia and the things that she discovers along the way and that we discovered by reading the book, and I would never give away a really big part of it like that, you can be sure. So that's book three. And the fourth book, I can't show you because it's coming to me from Amazon as we speak. The fourth book is called The Major Dissonance. Now these are all sort of musical terms and dissonance means things are not in the proper order. Now this, I would say, is probably the darkest part of the beginning. Rosalie is not in good shape. Meantime, back home in Toronto, where her apartment is, where her lovely two lady friends up above are now looking after her apartment and her garden, she is not with us. Mentally, she has gone. And getting her back into normal life and recovery with all the secrets she has carried with her is the major part of the major dissonance. Now, you know me well enough to know that I'm not going to end up with a horrible ending to a story, but it's how we get there that is important. So there are four books. The series is called Keynotes. You can get the books in email and paperback now. And I wouldn't say they're a happy dappy Christmas story, but they are what they are as part of my life and part of the circumstances that we live in. And I hope if you give them a try, you will enjoy them and you'll learn a few things along the way because I learn something every time I write a book. Keynotes is the name of the series. Thank you.